What is up, my dudes? Donald John here. I'm here with my cash tier deck profile that I got second place on uh, like a week and a half ago. I just forgot to post it, so very sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, I got a second place at Cleo's uh, TCG. It's in San Bernardino, so definitely go check it out. It's a very fun, friendly environment. Um, a lot of cool players, a lot of um, experienced players, so definitely check it out. Uh, Cleo also does Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, um, and all, all sorts of different card games. So yeah, do check it out. Also does like video games too. So if you guys have a console you guys want interested in buying or even selling, definitely check him out. Um, again, he's in uh, the San Bernardino area, so definitely check it out. Uh, but yeah, uh, I got second place with this deck. Uh, honestly, I've been playing cash tier going second, not going first, only because going first, there's not that much uh, board. Like, I guess there's not that much like good boards to make going first i guess you can say i mean i like i like to break boards necessarily i like playing go i like going second decks so this is definitely um th this deck is definitely really good going second and i'm playing i'm gonna start playing this deck going second until let's just say new support or um some some like the right start comes off the ban list but um for right now until then i'm playing this deck going second and this, de this deck is really, really good. Uh, I still think it's good. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let me just go through the deck profile. So we play a triple unicorn. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Don't need. To, I don't think I need to go over that one. Uh, triple Fenrir. Again, self-explanatory. Really, really good card. I hope they don't hit this. Please, Konami, don't hit this card. Love it. Triple Rice Heart. Uh, Rice Heart, really good card, especially because uh, we run the um, Heat Soul package, so you definitely need this card. It's like your normal summon of the deck. You could special summon it um, because it is a going second deck, so there's times where you have the OTK line, and you can just OTK from there. So sometimes you do want to special summon it instead of normal summoning it. Just depends on the scenario, again. So, yeah, triple Rice Heart, and then one Scareclaw, and then one Ogre. Really, really good cards. Um... Again, Ogre helps me search the trap, and then Scareclaw literally helps me get gets over boards, or sometimes just that extra push just to just to attack for a game. So really good cards. Uh, tip for the cash uh, cash tier lineup uh, for the hand traps: we play <laughs> triple D shifter, just kind of have to, you know. I know, like until this card gets hit, I'm gonna play it until it gets hit, guys. Like this card's really really busted, really broken, and I love this card. Uh, but if it gets hit and no nothing from the cash gets hit i'm still gonna play cash tira just gonna kind of explore my options from there though but right now triple d shifter uh double ash good card uh not not three only because i just don't like to i just don't like to see two in hand i just feel like it's a waste um but i uh yeah just until then i'm running two uh double ghost moaner uh really good card too it's, it's like a, an effect veiler and it could also burn. It, it helps. It does help um, you OTK your opponent in a way too, because if they get rid of their monster, that that's inflicting damage to your opponent. And yeah, I think the the name of the the goal for this deck is literally just to keep uh, subtracting your opponent's life points as much as you can. So this does help. Uh, going second helps because you can OTK them, and your uh, literally your rank seven uh, metal red eyes flare metal dragon also helps with that too. So I just. Again, like you just literally want to OTK them and don't have to deal with any other threats. So this does help push for game. Um, double nib, really good card. I don't know why people. I see some people not playing it. I don't know why this card's still really good, really busted. So still, play, the nib is really is still really good. Uh, double droll. I know this kind of conflicts with the shifter, but at the same time, it's either I see droll or the shifter, and I'm should be I should be fine. Like there's times where even if you draw draw and nib, that should still be enough too. So uh, any combination of these hand traps, it's it's still really, really good. So that's it for my hand trap lineup. For the spells, we got a uh, triple pressure planet, really good card. And then one uh, terraforming, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, triple birth, really busted card. Guys, I hope they don't hit this card. I really love this card. Uh, double uh, cash tier theosis. Again, I know I used to run one. I like running two now. I think, again, going second cash, you kind of need to push for game a little bit more. So if you don't have um, the certain, like the link lineup, you can just go for Theosis and go for the XZ lineup instead. So you should be fine. 
uh, double prosperity. Um, I optimize, try to, I, I try to run three. It's just, I just don't like this card. I'll be honest with you. I don't like this card. I even tried cutting it, but you know, in a way I kind of do need this cause just that extra, I guess that extra search is, is really, really good. Um, but I just, I just don't like three. I really don't, I don't like this card that much in this deck at all. I just, cause you utilize your extra deck a lot more than what you think you do. Uh, so a lot of times I'll be banishing three I, instead of six. I just banish three all the time. And it still even hurts because you still, you, you run through your extra deck a lot more than you, what you guys think you do in this deck. So, um, I, I'm trying to cut it. I'm still in the process of cutting it, but right now, uh, this served, this served its purpose in the tournament a lot. So right now I can't because it served its purpose. So just because of that, I have to have to run it. It's, it's really good. But at the same time, I don't like it in this deck, if that makes sense. It's a good card, but I don't like running it, if that makes sense. But yeah, double pros. Okay, and then we run Ron Rota with Ron Change of Heart. Again, this is to search your Rice Heart. And then Change of Heart. Again, going second deck. You definitely want to snatch something and you use it to your advantage. That's really good, especially if you're OTKing. Really good card. Uh, triple cross out and then the one call by because we just don't we just don't we don't like hand traps because literally there's the certain amount of line of hand traps can stop uh, cash tier and you guys know that so um, yeah so that's that then the triple imperm really good card I forgot to add this to my hand trap lineup my bad uh, but yeah imperm really good card really broken card busted can go first go second really good card uh, one pre prep Again, this card's also really good too. Sometimes even if you don't have the nuts, just even having, you know, the rice heart to banish and then you can bring this, the uh, use prep to bring it back. It's still really, really good. So yeah, it's a pre prep. And then that's it for the main deck. The main deck is at 43. Um, I do want to, again, try, I'm testing it. I'm consistently testing it. I've been wanting to cut it to 40, but um, right now at 43, 43 is working for me right now, but I'm, I'm still testing it. I'm trying to figure out how to cut cards into 40. Uh, extra deck, double link spider, good card. One G golem, good card. Um, one IP, one Donner. Again, Donner uh, is very helpful, especially because you're running Nib. So you can literally just link link uh, both monsters and make this and pop and get rid of something annoying. And then you, you literally cleared your uh, board for for a special summon for Fenrir or any of the other cast tier monsters like Unicorn or Ogre. Uh, so it's really, really good just to clear their board and clear your board. So especially if you don't want to see that annoying nib on the board. So that's why I run this. Um, and then the SP Little Knight. If you guys can't afford this, I understand. Um, honestly, there's times where this, this card has saved me games a lot. Um, so it is a really good card. I'm not going to lie. It's a really good card. If you guys have the money for it, definitely uh, uh, spend it on this. But if you can't afford this, that's totally fine. Uh, just, I guess, any other... Um, I guess you can put the Synchro in. Uh, I don't have the... I took out the Synchro, by the way. But you can put the... the, the I think... Um, uh, shot... Ah, it's one of the... Um, Sword Soul uh, Synchro Monsters. can't remember right now, and I use it a lot. It's crazy. But... Or you can just replace this with anything, guys. Honestly, it's up to you. But if you can't afford it, that makes sense. But that's for SP... Then the Deco Talker Heat Soul, because the Heat Soul package. Uh, one Apoloza, and then the one Axis Go Talker for OTK. Uh, good card. Again, you need this OTK. Apoloza, if you can't finish them, you, may, you could just make a board. Um, or if they make you go first, you can still make a board, and you can even make Heat Soul. Uh, it's just, there's just a lot of options you can do with this lineup, guys. Uh, one Shanga Era, never made it. So I don't know if I should take it out. <laughs> I don't know, you guys let me know, but... Uh, it's just there. It's it's there if you need it. So, uh, one big guy. I uh, love this card. Helped me win games. Same thing with uh, Draco Sack. Helped me win games. Uh, Dark Arm, the Dragon Annihilation. I see some people running this at two, and I don't blame them because it just pops cards, get rid of them, and then well, you can attack with it, then um, pop cards, and then make Zeus if you wanted to. But um, yeah, I think one right now d does help. Um, I might play two. It's a it's a really busted broken card, guys. I, I really do love it, uh, but as of right now, I just don't have space. So I mean, if you could take out the other SP, if you don't have if you don't have the money for it, then 
just put two of these guys. That's totally fine. But yeah, this this came up a lot, guys. Came up a lot. Same thing with the Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. So this card came up a lot too. So I think it's mainly um these two that came up more than anything else in, in my duels. Um, but I'm not saying these two haven't came up too. These these have came up a lot. But in the certain situations, especially because your opponent, uh, if they you know they know you're gonna play the Heat Soul a uh, catch tier, they're gonna prevent you from making this, or uh, just like hand trap it, or even they're just probably gonna like get rid of this. Uh, but most of the times I have been uh, having success making these two. So, but yeah, Red Ice Flare Metal Dragon, really, really good card. Helped, <laughs> helped me win a lot of games as well. Uh, Juan Zeus, again, really good card. Wouldn't take it out. I thought about it, but I wouldn't take it out. And then, yeah, that's it for the main deck, or the extra deck too. So then, go to the side. Again, guys, I keep telling you, side is up to you. Personal preference, right? I guess we'll start with the traps, why not? We'll go triple D barrier. Good card, Brand is still a deck. Um, it just hits anything that's obviously not links, you know? And it's it's really, really good. So I, you kind of have to play it in this format. Uh, triple evenly match. Uh, really, really, really good card, especially in this format. I think the more closer uh, we get to the next ban list, I have a feeling that we're going to enter into the board breaker format, like those the type of board breaker format again. So evenly is really, really good. Uh, and then that's it for the traps. And the spells, we run Harpies with double lightning storms. Again, board breakers are going second. Uh, this deck is going second anyways, so just you know, kind of want to just board break your opponent and then OTK them from there. Uh, yeah, but this is definitely for those like spell, heavy, very heavy spell and trap card decks. Uh, yeah. And then <laughs> triple Denka, Se Denka uh, Seca. So this card helped a lot. Um, Especially with those lab labyrinth players, um, I haven't used it that much in the tournament, but I, I've used it um, in another tournament, and it, it did help a lot. Um, I know again, like I'm posting this for the tournament for Cleo's, but um, th it's funny because this card could come up, this card couldn't, especially for those labyrinth decks. It's funny, um, and it's it's a really good card. I really like it. I really do like it. Uh, but yeah, Tango Seca does help a lot, especially against Lab or any any uh, any deck that sets spells and traps, right? So, triple uh, Gamma Seal. Yeah, this is just for because I just don't like Pearlies. <laughs> I really hate Pearlies, so yeah, that's just for, that's literally just for that or any annoying uh, big boss monsters that you can't get get over. Uh, this this literally just helps you know get rid of those monsters. But yeah, uh, that's it for my main and side deck, and yeah, I mean. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, you know, thank you again for your guys' support. I know we're literally trying to reach that uh, 500 mark. We're almost there, and I really appreciate you guys' support. Uh, you guys are awesome. Um, yeah, again, um, I will be posting a lot more, so just stay tuned for that. I know you guys want the dinosaur content. It's coming out soon. I promise, coming out soon. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for that. Other than that, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy Donald John here signing out. Peace.